What's going on guys? I'm gonna look at 125 here. It is Tuesday, November 30th, 2010, and I've got a video here for you of uh, what you can obviously see is Android running on an iOS device. Currently, uh, at least to the public as I know, um, or as much as I know of and as much as anyone knows of based on research, and I did do a lot of research to get this, um, this is only available for uh, iPod Touch 1G, iPhone 2G, and iPhone 3G. And uh, uh -oh, I hope that didn't ruin it. Usually I can get it back, but after like two or three times of it doing that, I have to reset the iPod. This is uh, very glitchy, and as you can see, right, that worked. This is very glitchy and uh, is no more than a novelty, but I figured I'd just walk you through uh, basically what this is and uh, tell you about the process I had to go through to get this. Um, while talking about it. So, uh, as you can see, this is Droid, uh, or Android, I believe 2.2, although it might be 1.6. Let me go into settings here and just uh, check. I actually haven't checked yet. Android version 2.2.1 running on my iPod Touch. 1G, 16 gigabyte. There's a lot of scratches on this. Then again, what iPod doesn't have scratches on the back. Um, so if you've got any of those three devices, you should definitely give this a go if you're not currently using them as a main device. You do have to do uh, a hard restore and a few other things to get this to work. And uh, while it doesn't work perfectly, and you can see, like, I can't just swipe, or I can, but it takes a while. It's, it's not very fluid. Um, it does work. Um, you can't really turn it off, or at least not that I know of. You kind of just have to wait 30 seconds. Uh, and it goes off by itself. But this is the back button, as you can tell right here. And then this button, what this uh, home button does is that actually brings up your uh, accessibility options. I don't know what to, what to call those. I forgot what they're called, like the menu options. Like if you're in the browser, it'll tell you uh, what to, like, you know, it, it'll give you tabs and stuff. Sorry, I'm at a loss of words here. Um, I think up there it actually is telling me I have 25 minutes left of battery, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, iOS definitely doesn't do that, so. Uh, but that's that. Let's We've spent enough time in here. Let's go back to the main menu. We'll see what apps we get with it. It is the uh, very stock, stock Android. Only thing that's different is the iDroid thing in the background, and that's uh, basically just showing you. Uh, that it's running on an iOS device. So you got uh, all these. Most of them just barely work. Uh, you're not really, you shouldn't really be expecting anything out of this. I was tr gonna try the music player, but it just says uh, no SD card installed. I do think that you can trick it into thinking you have an SD card and put music on it, but I'm not too sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, the Wi-Fi is another thing I wanted to show you. It's very peculiar. Uh, I'm going into settings here, wireless networks, Wi-Fi, oh, well, it's off right now, but I'll turn it on here, and I'll do set up Wi-Fi. Uh, it's going to find my network, so you'll think it, you'd think it'd be working fine here. It's here it is scanning, and it, oh, there it goes, find my network, and it actually remembered it from the last time. We're going to connect to it, and here it says connected, oh, obtaining IP address, let's see how long it takes to connect. We're just going to watch it for a few minutes. It's already been four minutes. I don't want to make this video too, too long. Uh, but I do think this is really cool. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. Uh, luckily, I had this iPod Touch 1G kicking around. Um, so let's go back home here. And we'll enter the browser. And it doesn't say we're connected to Wi-Fi up there just yet, but I think it will. Let's go back to the uh, settings just to double check that we are in fact connected to Wi-Fi. Um, but if you're done watching right now, just know that this is Android, this is on an iOS device, and it's just a pretty cool novelty to have, especially if you do not have an, I, uh, an Android phone or device to begin with. So we're going to go into the browser. It did just say we were connected. And for some, and then the, here it even has the notifications pulled down. It's, it's really stock Android. Flick that back up if we can. There we go. Okay. So uh, the keyboard comes up and everything. Oops. 
and we're going to try to go to google.com so uh, I don't have to type it in there because it is right there I'm just going to press go and even though it said we were connected still says web page not available so I'm still working out that kink some people have gotten that to work so I do want to try to get that working but that is Android on my iPod touch 2G or 1G my bad uh, subscribe for more uh, tech related content including uh, Call of, HD Call of Duty uh, Black Ops commentaries Follow my Twitter link will be in the bottom bar and uh, oh and you can also change around the brightness and most of the settings do work as well as email you can uh, type a message in fact we'll try messaging real quick here I haven't tried actually typing on this obviously I cannot send a text message but I'll type this is a test all right so it actually worked uh, very well I'll try like as fast as I possibly can. All right, so I'm not even an Android typer anyway, and this is a laggy version. This was supposed to be this is a test typing on the iPod Touch with Android. Not not too bad considering I don't even type on Android regularly. Uh, this is definitely full featured and. Uh, the devs who made this uh, possible did, did a great job with it. So I, that, there's what I was talking about where the home button brings up your options. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Again, follow my Twitter, link in the description. Subscribe, rate, comment, like the video if you enjoyed it. Peace out.